Hello everybody, um, my name is Courtney Rogers, for those of you who don't know, and I started The True Life of Courtney, my personal blog, about eight months ago, and now I'm super excited about expanding to YouTube and becoming a vlogger. This is my first vlog series titled Truly Prepared for 2019. So there's probably a million ways that you can prepare for 2019, but I am going to share with you the true way. Get it? True life? True? Yeah. Anyway, the true way um, to prepare for a new year. I have personally been doing this for the past two or three years, and it has proven to be very successful for me. So I want to share it with you guys. I am going to do this in a five part series. So I'm shooting all five videos today. Hopefully I don't look tired by the end, but it's five things that I think are very important when you're preparing to go into a new year. So part one of Truly Prepare for 2019 is dedicated to, drum roll, reflection. I'm pretty sure somebody is probably like, she has already talked about self-reflection on a video before. I'm going to talk about it again because it's that important. We must self-reflect as people. And so going into 2019, I think the most important thing we can do is sit back and reflect on 2018. We need to figure out what things worked for us in 2018 and what things didn't. We need to figure out... How did we feel in 2018? What made us feel this way? Break it down by each quarter of the year. How did you feel at the beginning of the year? How did you feel at the middle of the year? How did you feel at the end of the year? What stresses did you have throughout 2018? What joys did you have throughout 2018? What are some things you could have done differently? What are some, um, I don't know. There's like a million things you can really think about. Some people in my life that truly made a difference. Some people in my life that don't need to be in my life. Like really reflect on these things so that when you walk into 2019, you're not taking any dead weight with you. You're not taking any stressors with you. You are just going into this new year with a fresh mindset, with people who are going to support you and help you grow and um with all the tools that you need to be successful like that's what self-reflection is all about and that's why it's so important so um i actually did some of this stuff back in august because august was a new season for me it was a fresh start for me and so um you can do this at any point of your life and so i'm saying it right now because we are all about to truly prepare for 2019 um, but just keep in mind that you can apply these uh, strategies to your life at any point in time when you walk into a new All right, so I'm going to get a little personal with you guys. Um, like I said, I self-reflect all the time. And so I was reflecting about my 2018 um, a couple of weeks ago. And it was three words that kept like resonating with me about 2018. And so I challenge each and every one of you to do the same thing. When you um, think about your 2018 and you really reflect on it, uh, try to come up with a couple of words that just describes the year in, in the whole. And then you'll um, be able to, you know, jot that down and then look back on it as years to come. And, you know, next year for 2019, you write down three more words that describe 2019 and then you'll kind of know um, you'll have some words that represent that season of your life. When I was thinking, the first word that came up to me um, about 2018 was rest. Like I have rested this year um, so many times in like in the past in my life, I would go to sleep and wake up and still feel tired. Go to sleep, wake up and still feel tired. But I don't feel that way now. I have been able to rest for the past six months and it has been amazing like amazing amazing so my first thing was rest <laughs> all right so the second thing um the second word that came to mind when I thought about my 2018 was the word regroup and so it came to my mind and I was like well let me look up the definition of the word and so when I did I was like oh my god like 
That's so right. So the definition was to reassemble into organization, typically after attack or defeat. And so um, if you know me personally, if I've shared some of my stories with you, I honestly feel like 2016, I was under attack. In 2017, I was defeated. And 2018 was my regrouping time where I put everything and all my pieces back together. Um, a lot of times when we're under attack by the enemy, he steals our image of who we are as a person um, and who we are as just like in the career, in our uh, mental like health and just everything like every idea of who we were the devil seems to somehow attack it and so um i spent 2018 redefining myself redefining who i am who i want to be my goals and so this was truly just like a time to regroup and all that rest i was able to regroup myself and it was um and it was it was awesome. So that was number two. Okay, so the third word. Look, I got two fingers up. <laughs> the third word that came to my mind when I thought about um, my 2018 was the word restoration. To be restored. And uh, I googled the definition for that one as well. And it says to return to a former condition. And so, um, I just think about my life back before college when everything was just simple and there was no stress and no confusion. And I honestly feel like I am not all the way back there because I am now an adult and I still have bills, which sucks. But as far as every other piece of life, um, back before I went to college, I actually feel like I, I have that now. Like the joy that I used to have and the compassion for others and things of that nature. I had lost sight of those things and now I feel like God has restored me back to that former condition. And so that's how I sum up my 2018 based off of my reflection. So in conclusion, the first part of being truly prepared for 2019 consists of self-reflection. So make sure you self-reflect. I mean, self-reflection is humbling. It is rewarding. It makes you more aware. And it's just so vital to our success and to reaching goals and dreams. And so I encourage each one of you to get prepared the true way by self-reflecting. So leave me a comment under this video. Let me know what three words sum up your 2018. Like this video, share it, um, tag a friend, subscribe to the blog. Let me know if this was helpful for you um, as we move forward into 2019 because I want us all to be truly prepared as we go into this new year. So. Thank you for watching. I'm signing off. See you next time.